it's notable the research that the Commission published when, uh, when this, when after um, Mr. Bondelein's speech in, in December about the scale and worrying trend of hate speech and hate crime, in particular the level of hatred manifested against, for example, the Roma Jew community, Jews, Muslims, persons of Asian origin, those perceived to be of that origin, and the effect that that had uh, in terms of linked crimes in communities. It's um, at EU level, like there has always been a strong statement against incite public incitement to hatred and hate speech, and that comes from, I think, a very difficult background in Europe about identifying, you know, partic particularly with post World War II efforts to try to solidify peace, to try to stand against hate speech uh, as it then was and as it has evolved. But there is a, a real concern about not how social media amplifies hate speech in very considerable ways. The use of the algorithm to, to do that and to amplify and, and excite, as it were, through conflict. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that, that's negative in itself. It's negative for, its, for the users, it's negative for society generally, but it has a huge democratic impact. And if you leave aside as, you know, the important contributions that have been made about social media abuse of politicians, that's fine, but um, it goes beyond that. It speaks to the, the standards in democracy. It speaks to what the information that people are getting. And we've seen that more and more and more over the last 20 years, this idea of taking a measure of dissent or a local, a local problem generally and amplifying it and amplifying it into a criticism of the establishment, a criticism of this thing, the way things are, the elites that do this to you. And we've seen how that's been weaponized, not just politically, but it's been weaponized by but by states and, and other entities that would like to see the value of democracy, and particularly Western democracy and European democracy, to see that eroded over time. We've seen that idea of the amplification of dissent being used, for example, throughout the Brexit referendum, the amplification of local dissent into something much bigger being used throughout the American um, uh, democratic elections, particularly in 2016, and subsequently. And we have to be really concerned about that. It's, and, 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 and in particular, how we contribute to that ourselves. So I think, there's, to be honest, there's, there's two things going on here. There's one, um, how we treat each other on social media, how we treat each other generally, and the important work that the Minister is doing in bringing in hate crime legislation, which will have big effect, I think, on gender-based violence, which will have big effect, in particular, for people with disabilities, uh, and where, the, where it is an aggravating factor in offences committed against people particularly with disabilities of concern. But much, much more what the EU needs to do is really think about how it's going to stand against this weaponization of information, the amplification of dissent, a, by political parties, and in particular by populist political parties, who refuse to explain how difficult life is, who refuse to explain how difficult financing things are, who refuse to explain the constraints placed by constitutions, rules-based orders, and financial constraints on how decisions are made by governments and on behalf of peoples, as though these things were straightforward in business, as though these things were straightforward in a household, and running a household, for, for example. So it's, for, for, so it's important from that level in managing and controlling populist and expectations about what can be delivered for citizens, but where it goes, where, where that speaks to again, is where the threats to democracy come from nefarious actors, whether that's organised criminal gangs, whether that's rogue states, all of these things are linked, and how we manage social media amplification of dissent is very, very important, and never more important than at a moment where you have not just a land-based war, but an information-based war going on right across Europe, and as we have seen, going right across Western democracy for the past 10 years. Thank you. Thanks very much, Davide. We now move